So, after just announcing record profits only three weeks ago, their stock prices are still climbing, and now they want to lay off over a thousand workers. What's going on here? Let's get into it a little bit. Roll the intro. <laughs> So the company I'm talking about is General Motors. I am not talking about Stellantis for a change. Uh, yeah, so General Motors, just weeks before Christmas, I might add, has announced that they are laying off over 1,000 of their white-collar workers. I always hate it when companies do stuff like this. However, being around the automotive industry as long as I have, uh, Layoffs before Christmas, not uncommon. I know that a lot of companies do this because they're leading up to, you know, their final quarter of the year and they want to boost their profits and make everything look all wonderful for their stockholders. But for the guys left in the dust, yeah, not a good situation at all. Uh, from what I'm hearing from my sources at General Motors, um, most of these are coming from the technical department. And most of them, although they stated on the a lot of news outlets that it was worldwide, it is technically worldwide, but most of these workers are in the United States. And this is just after they laid off over a thousand workers in mind just in August of uh, software engineers and whatnot. So, yeah, this is interesting. Why? Um, I haven't really heard any reasons why. So I'll add my two cents. I'll say, you know what? I'm actually thinking some of the reasons for this are. I'm going to guess, first of all, part of it has to do with the EV dilemma. I mean, a lot of companies have been in limbo with this EV nonsense going on the last few years. Uh, they have not been adopted by the general public at the pace that uh, all the car companies actually thought that they were be. Although General Motors, in my opinion, is a lot better um situation than say Stellantis who like went all in on the EVs and uh yeah weren't looking back until recently so they had a better balance in my opinion for that um another one I'm gonna guess is something to do with the incoming tariffs that incoming President Trump has promised the workers to keep jobs in the U.S. And yeah, GM does have a lot of vehicles overseas that they're manufacturing. Buicks and whatnot has come to mind, especially for one. And they're going to have to make up for this. Now, the other thing, going back to the EV dilemma, the other problem is that they've put a lot of money, time, effort, into these EVs, which aren't panning out, which aren't becoming profitable. So they're all, they're losing money. They're all losing money. All the companies are losing money. I mean, even Tesla, who is like the king of the EVs here, even they're losing money here. So yeah, it, it's, somebody's got to pay for it. Unfortunately, the workers and the consumer are both going to pay for that and um, I think consumers are already paying for it in the price of a lot of vehicles not just electric vehicles but gasoline powered vehicles as well however I'll talk about that a little bit more in another video here and uh, we'll dive deep more deeply into that one so um, yeah so I don't know what they're doing here exactly but in the coming days, I think we're probably going to learn a lot more. 
Another interesting tidbit. I haven't. Um, I've only heard this from one source. I haven't really confirmed this true, but from what I understand is that these layoffs were announced through emails. Probably one of the worst, most impersonal ways you can lay off a worker. So my source says that they're basically got an email off of working hours and we're told that uh yeah they weren't being their jobs weren't needed right now so they deactivated their key cards and that's so i'm gonna bet that probably not everyone checked their emails uh, i don't know before they went to work that next day and probably some of them got there and went with the card dead Surprise, you're not getting in. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Like, to me, really, really poor taste and bad image for the company as well. Like, consumers aren't going to look well on this either to hear about this sort of thing. And the media is trying to make light of it. Oh, well, it's only a thousand workers, whatnot. Thousand workers is a lot of people. And yes, in the grand scheme of things, with a company the size of General Motors, it is a small amount. But if you're one of those thousand workers, it's not a small deal. So I'm not sure quite where some of these news outlets, why they want to try to pass this off as something being small. I don't know. But. Either way, we'll see. I'll let you guys know if I find out any more information in the coming days, more details about this and whatnot. So, yeah, it's not 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 good news, especially like I said, especially this time of year. They're not the only company that does this. I understand there are lots of companies that like to do stuff like this because they're corporations. They they don't care. You're just a number. And that's not just the Bass General Motors. That's pretty much any company out there these days. So I don't know. We'll see. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do any of you work at General Motors? You know, I'd be really interested to hear of any of your experiences. And if you want to send a message privately, go to the Instagram address I have here and Send me a message there. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys all have a great night. See you in the next video. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up.